So this is the proof of concept about AR with IoT where we are able to control the appliances of our home using virtual switchboard that doesn't exist into the real world. And believe me or not, but this is the future where we are heading towards and when I say it, I do really mean it. I like to watch the video till the end and in the end I will justify this statement that this is the future where we are heading towards and here at TechSM Studio, we are making you future ready. So let's get started. This video is sponsored by LTM which is a PCB designer based software company. Now let me tell you one very interesting, very unique feature about this software which I bet you haven't seen in any other PCB designing software and that feature is called as follow me mode. Now this is truly very useful feature which I can't explain it in simple words, rather let me show you the actual video of this particular feature. Have you seen that? The path automatically adapts the curve quite seamlessly. And now I can imagine making this kind of path in any other PCB designing software would be really a tedious task for sure. Now you can also try this and many other features of this PCB designing software by just clicking on the link mentioned in the description. Yes, by clicking on that link, you'll be getting a free trial version of LTM designer software. So go ahead, try it out and if you find it interesting, you can purchase this software later on. So I believe that those who are watching this video must already be aware about IoT and made some basic projects in it and are here to learn about how to integrate those projects with AR. So let me tell you guys, this is the right place where you're landed on and if you're not aware about IoT, don't worry, I'll also be teaching you about how to make a basic IoT project in this particular video only. So now let's just start with what are the components that you will require to make this project. So first and foremost, you'll require a Wi-Fi controller. In my case, I'm using the ESP32 board. You may use a Node MCU board as well. Then you'll need a relay module because we'll be controlling one single appliance that AC appliance using this particular project. So yeah, those are two hardware components that you'll need and talking about the software side, then you'll need a Blink app on your uh, mobile phone because we'll be using the Blink cloud server and you'll also need a unity hub installed on your computer i'll mention the link for everything into the description so don't worry so yeah that was all the thing that you will need and now let's just quickly complete the iot part and then we'll move on to the ar part now those who are already aware about the iot part like uh, those who have already made a project of sending a data from the blink app to the esp32 board uh, using the blink apis as well uh, can skip the iot part and directly jump onto the ar part you can take the help of the timestamps uh, mentioned below just to skip it so now let's quickly start with the iot So let's start with the Blink application. So first of all, open up this uh, Blink application. Now here I'm using the previous generation of Blink because uh, I, I know they provide the APIs for controlling their uh, widgets. I'm not sure if they provide APIs for the new Blink version as well, but I'm sure about the previous one. So I'm using the previous one. So here you first need to create a new project. So click on new project, uh, give a project name I'll give as AR, uh, board will be ESP32 in my case and connection type will be Wi-Fi. Click on create project. So authentication token will be sent, uh, pretty normal. Tap on the screen and add a button here. Now tap on the button to configure it. And here I will be giving the pin as virtual pin V1. Okay, uh, and its mode will be switch of course. That's it, click on okay. And with this you have successfully configured the Blink mobile application. Now let's just have a look over the code quickly. So yeah. Uh, so here is the code for our project. So in this code, what you have to do is you have to provide the authentication token of your Blink project, which you can get it by going to your register email ID. And here is the authentication token. I'll simply copy it and I will paste that here. Great. After that, you have to provide the SID name and password of your Wi-Fi router. And after that, what I did is I just uh, defined the pin 15 of my ESP32 board as an output and whatever data I'm receiving on virtual pin V1 is directly sent to the uh, digital pin 15. So if I turn on the switch, the relay will be turned on. And if I turn off the switch, this relay attached to this pin will be turned off. So that was a pretty basic code. Now what I'll do, I'll directly upload this code onto my ESP32 board. And after uploading the code, I'll be making the connection of my ESP32 board relay and the bulb according to this connection diagram. So with this connection, I'll be easily able to control the bulb with the help of the Blink app. And let's just test it out. Okay, so we are able to control the bulb with the help of Blink app. But now we have to move one step ahead. We want to control the same bulb, that same pin of ESP32 board using the APIs. So let me just show the Blink API to control that. So yeah, here is the format of a Blink API where you have to provide the authentication token here. So what I'll do is simply copy this authentication token and paste that authentication token 
at this particular position after that here you have to provide the pin number at uh, which you want to send the data in my case it is virtual pin v1 only and here you have to define what data you want to send do you want to send zero to turn it off or do you want to send one to turn it on that that you have to define here okay so let's just test if our bulb is uh, able to uh, control with the help of this api or not let me just show you so yeah, I'm able to turn on and off the bulb using the API by just sending the data one and zero. So yeah, that was all about the IoT part. So that's a simple IoT project you have already made. Now let's just move on to the next step and let's try to integrate this IoT part with the AR, the augmented reality part. Now this is where the magic will happen. Let's see how to do that. So now let's just start with the AR, the augmented reality part. So for that, first of all, you need to download this software called as Unity, okay? So I'll leave the link of this and to the description. Just click on start here and click on agree and download. So it will automatically uh, download the file uh, of Unity Hub setup, okay? So after downloading, as I already downloaded, so I just cancel it. So after downloading and installing, you need to just open that uh, software called as Unity Hub. So after installing, it will look something like this. After that, just go to installs and click on add and you have to add the latest uh, unity version and you have to also add the android build support because we will be uh, building an android application at the end of this particular project okay so you have to install this just click on next and click on agree uh, to uh, start downloading all these things okay so after uh, doing all this setup you are now ready to start making your project for that just go to the projects and click on new and here we'll be selecting 3D and here you just need to give the project name. I'll give a uh, name it as AR with IOT. Okay. And click on create. Okay. So we are into our main project. Okay. So now uh, before making anything first, we need to add the Vuforia engine that will help us to build the or add the AR camera and also add the target image on which we want to build all the AR stuffs. Okay. So for that, what you have to do is you just need to go to your web browsers. Uh, go into google.com here search for Vuforia okay and after googling just click on the very first link and here first of all you need to make an account so click on register and here fill all the details to make an account I already have my account so I'll go to login and I'll quickly log into my account okay so I'm inside my account now I will go to downloads and here you need to download the Vuforia engine for the unity okay just click here it will start uh, downloading click on I agree Okay, after downloading, just open up that uh, file and it will automatically redirect you to the Unity software. And here you just need to click on the import to import all the Vuforia engine. Uh, we can say items or packages and all the data you can say, okay? Okay, so we have successfully added the Vuforia engine and to check that you just need to right click here. And as you can see, the Vuforia engine option is appeared here. That means we have successfully added, okay? So now what we'll do is we'll add an AR camera here inside our project. So go to Vuforia engine and click on AR camera. So AR camera is added. So we'll remove this main camera. No need of that. Okay, so now what you have to do is we have to set a target image on which we want to build all the buttons and everything. Okay, so first of all, you need to select a target image. In my case, I already selected and the image is this okay so this is the image which i have selected for you know my ar project i'll be you know attaching this image into the article whose link is in the description so you can download the same image like a high quality image okay so uh the image uh so after deciding the image what you have to do is you have to create a database into the viewfora engine and for that you need to go to the viewfora account uh, again and after that here you need to go to develop and here click on target manager okay here click on add database now you have to give the uh, name to this database i'll name it as ar with uh, iot the same name okay i'll click on create i'll go inside this database and here i'll click on add target here we have to choose the file i'll go to my downloads folder and choose the file which is this after that, I give the width as one and you have to na give name to this particular thing. I will name the same AR with IOT. Okay. Click on add. So with this, we are adding our, what you can say, target image into the database. Okay. So it is successfully added and its rating is five star. That means this image is perfect for my AR application, AR project. Okay. Now we need to download this database for that. Click here and just click on download database. I'll select unity editor here and click on download. After downloading, just open up that uh, file. Again, it will redirect you to the Unity page. And here you just need to import uh, 
uh, this uh, like importing all the database inside our AR project. Okay, that's it. We are done. Now what you have to do is uh, we have to click on this AR and here we have to click on open Vuforia engine configurations. Okay. Okay, first of all, we have to add a license so you can get your own license by going okay, uh, to this Vuforia page and here you have to go to license manager and here you have to click uh, get development key. Name this license name. I'll name the same AR with IOT. Great. Uh, check mark this and click on confirm. So with this, uh, I, we will be getting a license which will, you know, uh, connect our Unity with this particular Vuforia engine. Now click on this box to copy it and after that you have to paste that license here. Now click on add license. Okay, so we have successfully added the license here. Now we need to provide the target image, the database that we have provided. Okay, for that just right click here, uh, go to Vuforia engine and select image target. Okay, now click on that image target. Now here you have to select from database. Okay, we have to set the target from database and the database will automatically appear because we have already provided a license with it. Okay, just select the database and the image will be already uh, automatically selected. Okay, so we are done and as you can see on the main window, uh, we have our target image set inside this particular uh, workspace or work area you can say. Okay, now it's, it's quite small. So what I'll do for uh, temporary, I will be resizing it uh, 50 times so i will uh, resize xyz uh, to 50 times okay so here is the image the resized image okay so now the next step is we need to add a plane to it for that just click on uh, right click on image target go to 3d object and select a plane here so here is the plane now plane is something where we will be you know adding all the components like the button and canvas all the things so everything will be merged inside a plane okay now one thing is that for my project i want the plane like the buttons and everything to be perpendicular to the target image and for that what i'll do is i will uh, rotate this image uh, to minus 90 degree and now as you can see everything is like perpendicular to the target image and that that what i wanted okay so now the next step is we need to add buttons here for that right click on the plane go to ui and click on button as you can see one canvas is added and inside the canvas we have one button okay so but we want two buttons like one to turn it on and one to turn it off okay for that what i'll do is i'll right click here and click on duplicate okay i will click on this arrow and move it a little downward i'll change the text for both so for uh, first button the text will be uh, on and for the second button the text will be off great okay so now what i'll do i'll add a background image to this canvas which i have already prepared now let me just show you what i have prepared so here is the background image which i have prepared the ar button control title and in the end i have written a project by team techie sms okay so first of all i'll drag and drop this frame here okay after that i'll right click on this space and click on create and i will add a material here okay now here i'll click on material uh, select the rendering mode as cutout now tap here and i will select that frame image okay similarly we have to do the same steps here as well just click on emission click on color and here again add that same image to it okay now we have to add this material to our canvas and for that just click on canvas click on add component go to ui and select image here now inside image uh, here is the option for material now click on uh, this icon and add a material called as new material and as you can see the new material like the frame image which i have made is successfully appeared here now i will uh, adjust the button uh, according to this image okay so everything is done now what i will do i'll change the size of the canvas as of our plane okay for that i'll click on canvas and change its render mode to world space i'll put the ar camera inside the event camera so that everything comes under ar camera and now we can easily move this under ar camera and i will resize it with the size of my plane great so now what i'll do i'll resize everything to fit just above our target image for that i'll click on plane click on this icon and I will uh, okay again click on plane click on this icon I will uh, resize it down to match the target image okay okay so everything is done and now as you can see uh, the image is kind of uh, uh, getting some noise and for that what I'll do I'll click on canvas and I will just change its z axis I'll bring it a bit like 
further okay so now everything is uh, pretty fine and we got a perpendicular image with the two buttons on it and then a canvas on it and it looks pretty nice now uh, we just need to change the size again you remember we changed it to 50 so i'll change everything back to one slash one slash one and we are done with the basic uh, structure of our ar project okay let me just zoom it in so yeah, here is our basic structure. Now we are left with to assign a task to each of the button. Like as soon as we press the button, a particular link should get request. And how to do that? So for that, we have to add a script to this AR project. So how to add script? Let me tell you. Uh, first, you need to click on this asset folder. And here, just right click on it, click on create and create a new folder called as script. Great. After that, just uh, go inside the script folder and add a new C sharp script with the name click URL after that just double clicking on this file to open it so here is the basic code now here what you have to do is you have to copy and paste this code don't worry I'll be putting this code inside that same article okay so I'll copy everything and I'll directly paste that thing here pretty simple now just save this file and close it so yeah, so this is the basic script. What it will do, it will get the URL. It will make a get request. That's the simple task of this particular script. Okay. So yeah, we have successfully created the script. Now we have to provide this script to our buttons. For that, I'll click and drag and drop directly the script inside the button. Okay. And I'll do the same with the button one that is the off button okay so now we have to provide a URL now where to provide the URL for that click on the button. Just scroll down and here inside the on click function just click on plus okay now here just drag and drop this button into the none object here just click on no function go to click url and click on open okay now here provide the url that you want to request as soon as this button is pressed so first of all as this is for on button so what i'll do is i'll copy uh, this particular uh, api link which we already discussed into the iot part the data will be one i'll simply copy this url and paste it here so that was all about the on button similarly i'll click on the off button again do the same steps click here <clears throat> drag and drop the button into this object click on this no function go to click url go to open and here just paste the same uh, link with the data zero because zero is for turning that uh, thing off and that's pretty much it we are done with all the steps required to make our own ar application and if you want to test it here right now you can do test it out by just clicking on this play button and in the meantime i'll just take the printout of my ar target image i'll soon come back So here is my AR target image. I'll show this AR target image in front of the computer. And as you can see, uh, okay, just a second. Okay, so here is our AR button control. And by just clicking on this on and off button, I'm able to send the data to the Blink Cloud. That means our AR project is perfectly working. And now we are left with the last step that is to export this project as a Android application. That's the APK file. So how to do that? Let me show you. I'll first of all, stop this. I'll go to file, I'll click on build settings. Now here I'll select Android and I'll click on switch platform. Okay, so our platform is successfully switched. Now just click on this player setting and here you can provide a couple of details like what name you want to give to this uh, application. I'll keep the name as AR with IoT only. As well, you can also select the icon for that application. I'll select the image of uh, the target image. Okay, uh, that's pretty much it. I'll click on uh, close tab. That's it. Now I'll click on build and it will automatically build an APK of the project that we have made that AR with IoT project and that APK file we can easily install it on any of our Android mobile phone and run this particular project. So how cool it is, isn't it? Do click that like button if you're excited to test this project uh, on your phone okay do click that like button and now what i'll do i'll quickly send this apk onto one of my android phone and now let's see this project in action when i click on a build button on my mac it was uh, throwing me some error of uh, jdk but i just uh, when i just uh, uh, use that same project and build using my windows system it uh, doesn't give me any of that error and it got successfully started exporting that apk file so it's perfectly working guys 
Now let us see this project in action. So that was all about the proof of concept of merging IoT with AR and we successfully did it like we controlled the uh, appliance of my studio with the help of augmented reality and as I said in the beginning of the video that this is the future where we are heading towards. Uh, let me make you imagine some scenario like we all know that Apple and Facebook are working on to the Apple like smart AR glasses and smart uh, AR headsets. Okay, to imagine one scenario that you have your AR glasses on your eyes. Okay, so now you can see everything like virtual obstacle visible to your eyes. Okay, like if you look at the uh, temperature sensor, you'll be able to see the data of it and look at the light. You'll be able to see how much uh, power it is consuming and stuff like that. Also, you will be having the virtual buttons to turn them on and off. Okay, so you no longer need to go to the switchboard, no longer saying Alexa, no longer taking out your phone. Just look at that uh, appliance and just press the off button that is virtually appeared onto your glasses. And likewise, you'll be able to interact with all the appliances with the help of virtual buttons. And yes, this is possible like this is also possible with the help of Unity software that we have just used. So, Like right now we have used that touch screen to turn on and off the appliances but we can eliminate that touch screen we can add virtual buttons and we can just touch those virtual buttons uh, in the air and we can interact with our appliances. Do you want me to make that tutorial as well like adding virtual buttons to control appliances like if you want do let me know in the comments of the video also do let me know what kind of thoughts coming in your mind I'm, I'm sure like AR with IoT has a lot of possibilities or so tremendous amount of ideas may be coming in your mind just drop them down into the comment section and maybe me and my team can start working on different projects and get the tutorial of all the idea that we have discussed into the comment section so yeah this is how I can justify my statement that this is the future that we are heading towards and here at Tech ASMA Studio we are making your future ready and that being said I'm just ending this video here and now just Wait for my next video. Explore, learn, share with me. Tech SMS.